Hey there YouTube, it's Math Baller. Welcome to this in-person autograph recap video. When the twins came to town, to PNC Park on Saturday, June 8th, 2024, I got zero twins autographs. I get in extra early as a season ticket holder and it was an amazing day. I have 26 autographs from 14 different people to show you. It was just a wonderful time. And yes, there's my man crush. We will get back to that because I want to show you all the autographs in the order with which I received them. But it was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. Some of the other folks who like to do get autographs um, were saying that the other Saturdays were all rainy. And this was the first one that was nice. And it was an excellent one. And I knew it was excellent because... I only try to get autographs maybe about five-ish times a year. So we're going to start off by getting a rare one. I got a Jack Sawinski on a game ball. I brought about a dozen game balls with me in my bag. I, I write on the in little sandwich bags I put each one in. I write the name of the person. I was able to find it just in time. This is a Jack Sawinski single that he hit off of the... Giants Carlos Rondon back in 2022 and he signed on the sweet spot which is awesome so right away I've noticed it was a good day I got someone who's a hard get and then it became a really good day got Paul Skeens on his first Bowman I was very happy to get Paul Skeens next up I gotta get him on a nice clean baseball And then one of the people I know, she hollered for Nick Gonzalez to come over. He said he would, which was awesome. Then she realized she didn't have any cards of him, so I gave her this one. And she then in turn just gave it to me, <laughs> which was really nice of her. Holy crap. Because I got him on this one with the hope of getting Nick Gonzalez and Carmen Majewski to double sign it. It's really cool. Next up was Edward Olivares. I had no idea if he'd sign multiples. I have a small book with cards in them, and he signed all three that were on that sheet. So that was really, really nice. He has some shiny, nice cards here. Just a nice-looking stadium club rookie. And then, coming off the field, see, they weren't really, batting practice was optional. So, you had all the the uh, bullpen pitchers warming up, and you just had a lot of the position players just kind of hanging out a little bit, which was awesome. Got David Bednar as he was coming off the field. I never tried doing more than one. People said he's pretty nice about it, and I, he did both. That's awesome. Uh, Two-time All-Star at the Pirates. Pittsburgh guy, the renegade. David Bednar came off the field with Colin Holderman. And I got him on a game ball. Oh, when I say game balls, most of you know this. They've been watching me for a while. But, yeah, they got the MLB authenticated hologram. that say what game, what inning, who pitched it, who, who was the batter, what happened with this ball. This one, Colin Holderman struck out the Nationals' Lane Thomas and then two pitches to Dominic Smith back on September 13, 2023. So very cool to get that. I, you know, I told him, hey, this was on a ball that you pitched. And he said, oh, that's really cool. You know, sometimes, like Mitch Keller, a couple times, I will ask, you know, what happened with it. Like, you know, who was it or something like that. He actually seemed pretty interested. And then I got another gamer. Now, to my credit, I was loaded up on game balls. <laughs> so I got Jared Triolo. This was a single that he hit off the Phillies' Junior Marte back in, let's see, 2023, uh, July 30th, 2023. So that was cool to get another gamer. And it just keeps going. There was only a handful of us there. Ben Heller came off. He The one time I saw him, which was on the thir previous Thursday, and he got absolutely rocked. There was a moment where his ERA was 135. I'm not joking you. Then Kyle Nicholas from the Pirates bullpen came off. He can throw really, really hard. Obviously, he doesn't have the movement that some of these other guys would have, but that's okay. And then I got Hunter Stratton, an Arab bullpen guy. 
So then, by then, the uh, pitchers were all off the field, out of out the field, and I headed toward a different area. And oh my gosh, Andy McCutcheon was out. He doesn't sign all that often. My favorite player of ever all time. That gone again. He sweet spot it. The other three guys I asked, could you sweet put it right on the sweet spot if possible, please? But I didn't even say anything to Kutch, and he still did it. I have a lot of game balls of him. This is when he was with the Phillies back in 2023. This was a double that he hit off of the uh, Nationals' Ryan Harper. September 23rd, 2020. So I got him on another a game ball. Got him on a gamer. MLB Authentic K game ball. So wonderful. That couldn't be happier. I got Paul Skeens. I got Andrew McCutcheon. I got four game balls taken care of. Um, I then waited a little while. Because I saw Don Kelly was, you know, socializing. And when he came away, heading back towards down to the clubhouse, I asked him if he could sign No, I graph. And he signed all three cards that I had, including his first Bowman Chrome. He is the Pirates bench coach. The local guy. Much like, much like Bednar, wouldn't be surprised if he's a head coach somewhere. So I bought an extra ticket for this event. They were giving out a neat little t-shirt. Well, I might as well show that to you. It was 80s night at the ballpark. So they got the Pirate Parrot, MLB Tour 2024. And on the back, they have all the towns that they're, cities that they're going to go to. So I went out, so I got one when I went in, I bought a second ticket, the cheapest ticket I could get, so I could go out on Federal Street, because there was an alumni signing. This magazine page, where he's jumping up in the air, actually looks better in person while on camera here, Kent Tacolvi, the rubber band man. The tall, skinny nightmare. How does anybody hit this guy? Got him on that magazine page and on the cover of this scorebook from 1990. Declaring him, uh, you know, the 1979 World Series champs. He looked it over real close. He said, oh, that's not me pitching, though. Not with that wind-up. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't have any intention of getting anyone else to sign this. I don't want to make a project piece out of this, but I got this on the cheap, and I got someone to sign it. <laughs> got someone really good to sign it. So I went through his line twice. You can do two items per purse, two items. Went through a second time, got him on the 81 Coca-Cola, <clears throat> and on the 89, Tops Traded. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I was traded. Yep, Tops Traded. So, very, very cool. Then I went back into the ballpark. Used my other ticket to get another t-shirt. So, essentially, I got four Kenta Colby's and a t-shirt for the price of that ticket, which to me was totally worth it. And while I was inside the park, I had never tried to get the Stephen Brault, who does pre-game commentary. And... I got him. He's super nice. Stephen Brault is a recently retired ball player who took pride. It was a pitcher who took pride in his at-bats, which makes me respect him a ton. They used him as a pinch hitter. They used him as a pinch runner. Uh, I mean, yeah, him and Joe Musgrove, they would use them as pinch hitters because, like I said, they took pride in their at-bats. Got him on the gold. Got him on this 150 year stamp. Got him this really pretty green numbered parallel, numbered to 499. Even he made the con. That's a pretty one. <laughs> and on this Montgomery 582 card. Tried to get all the different variations of some of these cards with the hopes of getting them signed eventually. And he didn't mind signing four. So I have some game balls that I'd like to get him signed next. I have a ticket from the game where he hit a 440 foot home run in Coors Field. Um, but yeah, 14 different players, 26 autographs, including the Paul Skeens on the first Bowman, my man crush on a gamer, three other gamers, Jack Sawinski, 
Colin Holman, Jared Trillo, all in the sweet spot. We got this Pirates legend, Kent Colvi, multiple time All Star. Nick Gonzalez has been on a hot streak right now, ever since going down and being called back up. Plus, you know, it's a matter of gentlemen, this is great. Holy crap. I, I'm very confident that 26 autographs is the most I've ever got in one game. And it's all the Pirates. I didn't even try the Twins. Oh, my. I got to enjoy this while I can. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week. A TTM video on Monday and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.